handful of amateur radio operators gathered at the Hidalgo County Health Department to practice emergency preparedness. It was all part of the Amateur Radio Relay League's Field Day, which is held each year on the last weekend of June. Field Day simulates what radio operators would do during an emergency or natural disaster situation. As Chief Administrative Officer Eddie Olivares explains, the event is a joint partnership between emergency management, the health department, and local ham radio operators. So over the next 24 hours, there will be a series of testing equipment, communication with as many stations as you can across the country and across the world. In situations where regular lines of communication are knocked out, amateur radio operators can provide communication for the county, state, or country. These are the folks that during hurricanes, during times of breakdowns in communication, that we would be able to count on to come and help us run our radio communication when it only relies on ham radio. To be a ham radio operator, you must have a license with the FCC. There are three license levels. The lowest is technician, then general, and the highest is extra. The level of your license determines how many radio frequencies you can transmit on. Three stations were set up inside the emergency operations center. One transmitting at 40 meters, one at 20 meters, and one at 10 meters. Uh, Roger that, KB5ZZB. This is Kimo Foxtrot 5, Uniform Echo Zulu. Each meter represents a different radio wavelength distance. On um, 20 meters, we could probably talk all the way to Brazil, South America. 40 meters, we could talk to Seattle, Chicago, and those areas. One of the youngest participants was 10-year-old Antonio Hilton. Antonio says reaching out to other operators gives him a big rush. My favorite part about being one is that I could talk around the world or anybody that I really could search up on QRZ. Dr. David Woolweaver is the director of the West Gulf Division of ARRL and has been an operator for over 50 years. In that time, he has seen a vast improvement in ham radio technology, which has helped in dealing with natural disasters. Uh, 50 years ago, when I started in amateur radio, all equipment was run by vacuum tubes. Of course, over the years, that all's changed, and now most everything is solid state or transistor driven. And so actually it's much more efficient, less energy, but uh, uh, more efficiency as far as power. Uh, the, that's what we gauge our things by, how much power output our transmitters can, can generate. And so it's much better nowadays with the, with the new technology. Hidalgo County residents will be relying on these ham radio operators if a hurricane should hit the valley. We know their expertise will help save lives. When communications are lost, telephone, electricity and other means of uh, communications are destroyed by the hurricane, amateur radio always comes to the rescue and we've been doing that for years. Our motto is, when all else fails, amateur radio will prevail. If you would like to learn more about ham radios or how to obtain a license, please contact the Hidalgo County Health and Human Services Department.